Welcome to Geo Interesting, presented by National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. We sat down with NGA interns Brooke and Garrett, as well as Liz Vasquez, Student Programs Manager at NGA's Campus East, to discuss their experiences and provide tips on applying to the program. Stay tuned for Geo Interesting. Let's start by having you guys introduce yourselves, your name, what university you attend, your, what gear you're in, and what your major is. Okay, so I'm Brooke, and I'm majoring in English. I'm getting my MA in English at the University of Maryland College Park, and I'll be entering my second year of the program. My name is Garrett. I'm entering my junior year at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, and I'm studying cyber intelligence and security. Um, and what made you want to apply to NGA for an internship? So all my other previous summer jobs had been lifeguarding and I really wanted a big kid job. That's what made me want to apply. Uh, my school, a lot of the professors there are former FBI, former CIA, and they really got me interested in the IC. So I wanted to hop in there and see what it was all about. Cool. Um, can you describe the application process a little bit and anything you did or included in your application that you thought made yourself stand out? I know my office told me that they had picked me because I already had two previous internships and they said that that really helped. And they were like local internships that I had worked at, so this was the biggest one I had done so far, but it really impressed them. Cyber intelligence and security kind of lends itself to government work, so uh, definitely the classes I've taken so far in my college career, um, my office has said that that was a big part of why they picked me. Originally I was going to be uh, an analyst, and then I ended up being switched over to data science probably because I put a lot of computer skills on my application. D did you like that move? It's been interesting, but uh, I I've definitely enjoyed it so far. Good. I, I know a lot of interns, They, I think they get put in maybe a different division than they think they would more like to be aligned to, but then they end up kind of learning different skills and that would probably help them. Did you have to interview? Yeah, it was just an interesting experience because it was over the phone, even though I wasn't that far away, I wasn't like in St. Louis or anything. But um, I just remember, just like normal interviewing skills are good to have. Maybe practicing before if you can do that at school and then when you know the interviews are coming. So, because I remember being off base on one and I didn't get that. I got three different interviews and of course you get one job, but yeah, one interview wasn't as good as the others. So this is, my name's Liz Vasquez and I'm one of the co-managers for the student programs here at NCE. Moving forward, we've actually streamlined that interviewing process. You guys didn't have to go through it, but anybody that's gonna be applying for next summer, we've actually done video interviews. So you get to, we'll send you some questions and you don't see the questions ahead of time. You'll get an email, hey, this is your applicant login, blah, 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 go in, do your, then you'll see the questions and you get about, depending on how many, I think it's three minutes to answer them and you video record yourself and then the hiring managers will see that. That's interesting. Oh, I like, that's cool. So yeah. we're not doing phone interviews anymore. We're not doing uh, in-person interviews unless there is a follow-up um, can you provide an overview of uh, your job here at NGA? What are the, some of the things you do every day? Okay, so the past two summers I worked in office diversity and I wrote a lot of articles about diversity events coming up and just diversity education. And now I'm in a different office and I pretty much have just done a survey for them the whole year. It's like creating the survey and then like I'm analyzing the results. So it's totally different. <laughs> So right now I'm a data scientist, so I get to play with a lot of the cool programs and toys that we have around here, and really big Excel sheets. <laughs> so basically what I'll do pretty much every day is if I'm not coding or working in uh, some geospatial analysis program, I'm thinking about how I'm going to code this or how I'm going to put it into a geospatial analysis program. So um, definitely keeps me busy throughout the day. Okay, cool. What's been one of the most fun or interesting things you've done during your internships here? 
I really liked they had a National Women's Summit or something like that, and I went, and diversity is my undergrad major is pretty much a big focus on, so I really liked that. And hearing the deputy director tell her life story was really cool, interesting. So I don't know if this answer is cheating, but uh, <laughs> uh, the opportunities, specifically um, optional training that we've been offered, for instance, a couple weeks ago, my office more or less paid me to go do a three-day training course up in DC on Python, which is coding language for those who don't know. So for three days, I got to go get a bunch of free food, learn how to code some more, and I was paid for it, which was pretty exciting. What advice would you give students, um, especially you, Garrett, who are already um, who are already in a program sort of geared toward the IC? Um, what would you? What kind of advice would you give them who are considering a job here at NGA or at another intelligence community agency? Uh, first off, keep your nose clean. I've had plenty of friends from school who haven't made their internship with the FBI or the CIA because of one dumb thing they did three years ago. Um, so that would definitely be the first bit of advice. Um, Especially with social, their initiative thinking about checking social media accounts now for background investigation, you think? Yes. <laughs> I've actually started going through my Facebook a little bit each day and just removing some of those older posts. Any last tips you want to give to people? I mean, was there anything hard about the application, confusing? So the biggest challenge that um, I had a friend from school also apply here and she got an internship as well. Our biggest problem was finding housing. Um, partly because we waited a little longer than we should, but mostly because there's nothing for students in DC. As far as if you think you're going to be working in the IC, specifically in the DC area, start looking for housing as early as possible and pretty much take whatever you can get. And uh, we are, we got duly noted on that, and we are working on an initiative to see, it's called I forgot the name, but it's it's a name that makes like if an employee could opt in, mm -hmm. if they have room to space to house an intern. So we are definitely working on it. We're looking at other options as well, forming some partnerships with uh, local universities, and making sure that we do get the word out that to hold spaces for us. Because I know a lot of the times, depending on when the interns clear, by the time they get here, everything might be full. So working on that to make sure we have a reservation. Like, hey, can you hold this for us for a certain amount of time, and then we could help you guys with that that would be fantastic so we're working on it I just want to let you guys know that we are we heard you and we're working on it yeah that would be helpful especially in this area but also it's going to be at NC out west as right well. so we're okay. working both yeah. nce and ncw good mm -hmm. cool thanks guys yeah. geo interesting is produced by nga's office of corporate communications Never miss an episode by subscribing on iTunes and SoundCloud and following NGA on Twitter and liking us on Facebook. For more information on NGA, visit us at www.nga.mil. Thanks for listening.